Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence? Then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner. Something good. Like... Burgers! I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal! Okay, sis, see you soon! I'll be waiting, Maya. Mm, conversation recorded. September 5th, 927 AM. Now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? <laughs> You're not cogniferous of my background? Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. <laughs> my dear Miss Faye, I'm so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. <gasps> Red, white, blue. Oh, I'm late. Huh. That's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. That smell. Blood! <laughs> Sis! Someone's there! The chief? Chief? CHIEF! Who are you? <laughs> the strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this. But if there are any clues here... She was struck in the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Hmm. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? <laughs> a word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store, dated yesterday. A 
think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Right, I better call the police. <sighs> that's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please come quick! W what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? <clears throat> She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Yeah, that girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis... Sis... So she was already dead. So you're the chief's... Sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting? This late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It was that clock. It was the thinker. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Ah, that's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would sis write my name? Uh-oh, now I've done it. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? I got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya. Wait. She wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! Ah! This word, Maya, here mean anything to you? Um... That... That's my name. What?! The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With a dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer? I'm not. Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am! What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. <laughs>